What do French people eat? What would a typical breakfast, lunch, and dinner look like in a French family? Today, I'm going to be showing you a typical breakfast, lunch, and dinner that we typically eat in a French family. And I'm also going to be giving you some general information about the type of meals that French people have. This was very requested after my How French Women Don't Get Fat video. So now, hopefully with this video, you'll be able to have some actual meal ideas and some information that you can apply to your way of eating. I'm going to be showing you a day of eating on a Sunday, so on the weekend, and the only thing that really changes here for me and my family is breakfast. So a breakfast on the weekend typically looks like having viennoiserie, so croissant, pain au chocolat, pain au raisin, etc. at least in my family. For me, it's always a croissant and I have some fresh berries with that to have some sort of healthy thing and I add also a glass of soy milk. It's really all about moderation with these viennoiseries. It's not like we have 10 of them every single day. For me, I have one on Saturday and one on Sunday, and then I have some fruit or something else to go along with it. So even if it's not the healthiest breakfast, it's still totally fine. During the week, French people tend to have bread and butter with a jam or just some cereal. We also have bread with butter and jam during the weekends, and we buy some nice fresh bread. It's absolutely delicious. Also, lots of people have a cup of coffee or of tea, and I don't drink coffee very often and I don't drink tea that often except like in the afternoon so it's just water for me and sometimes if there's like freshly squeezed orange juice I'll have that but mainly it's just water so for lunch I made a typical French dish called gratin dauphinois which is basically layers of potatoes and cream most French people would have that with some meat but since I'm vegetarian I made another protein alternative so I made a tomato and bean mix and we're also having a salad, which is a very common thing in France. Usually we start our meals with a starter. And in my family's case, it's often like a little salad with just some greens, maybe some nuts, some fruit and stuff like that. Very light, just to kind of start out with something light and fresh. Usually we eat the salad before the rest of the meal, but here I combined everything on my plate just to show you better. And before dessert, lots of French people have some cheese with bread, but not necessarily on a daily basis. For my family, we have it only when we have guests over and I really don't have any, I don't really like cheese. I mean, I don't like French cheese. I like cheese that has no taste. And for dessert, we most often have something light like a piece of fruit or a yogurt. For me, it's almost always a piece of fruit. And right now, the fruit I always have is clementine. Another typical thing to eat in France is called a quiche, which is like, I would guess, a pie of some sort with, usually it's made with some bits of lard, lardon, like little pieces of ham, bacon, I don't really know what you call that, with eggs and cheese. Um, and I made a version with spinach and ricotta. Quiche is often served with a salad or a soup, which is what I decided to make. And French people really love to have soup. Whenever it starts to get cold, we start to bring out all of the different kinds of soups. The one I made tonight was with carrots, onions, turnips, and split peas, and it was very good. And again, I had a clementine for dessert. So these were our meals and typical French meals that we usually have as a family. Obviously, a lot of French people eat meat, we don't, so that would be mainly the only difference, I would say. And of course, this can vary depending on family to family. I'm sure that this goes without saying, but so now that you've seen what French people typically eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, here is some more general information about French meals. Very often we have three course meals, so that means that we have a starter, like we call this an entrée, and like I mentioned, it's often like a little salad or something with crudité, which is like some raw vegetables, so we can have like some tomatoes or carrots or like beets, radishes, um, avocado, anything like that. Now our main dish is often very balanced with a source of veggies, a source of protein, and some starches. French people are pretty good at creating healthy and balanced plates. If you're not, then you can check out the video I made about that right here. After the main course, lots of French people like to have cheese, maybe not every single meal, but it's something that's pretty common. Uh, they can have it by, them, by itself or with some bread. And then dessert is often something pretty light, so 
so maybe a piece of fruit, some yogurt, some applesauce, something like that. And once in a while, I would say it can be like a little pastry, a little um, millefeuille, a little éclair. <laughs> there are no English words for these. I'm gonna try to find pictures. Um, a little tartelette, a macaron. Bread is an important part of a meal. Actually, whenever you go to a restaurant, the bread is always free. Like you always get some free bread, unlimited free bread basically on your table. We don't really just eat bread plain, but we can use it to like push our food on our plate and kind of like wipe our plate clean and then eat it or with cheese or stuff like that. As for drinks, my family always drinks water and most French families I know always drink water. There's like unlimited water at the table. Same thing when you're going to the restaurant. And yes, we like wine, but not during every meal, mostly for special occasions. Again, everybody's different, but mainly wine is not like the, the primary beverage at the table. And finally, French people eat mainly whole fresh foods and limit processed foods. It's really rare for French people to have an entire meal that was like already pre-packaged, pre-made. Of course it happens, but it's really not something to do on a regular basis basis usually they cook their meals from scratch so as for the French way of eating I gave tons of information about that in my how French women don't get fat video that you can check out right here but here are some of the basic things French people have family meals long family meals they all eat the same thing and they take this time to socialize around the, the table and they really take their time to eat three course meal I talked about and it's really this long nice relaxing moment and time wise a lunch is typically around noon or 1 p.m and then dinner is rarely before 8 p.m in France the meals are really really varied in France we really almost never eat the same thing like twice in the same week uh, that's very different than in America where you would have the same meal like five times in a week. No foods are off limits really. It's all about moderation. Like I talked about with the viennoiserie, it's not about having 10 of them all every day. It's about enjoying one once in a while and that's what makes it taste so good. And also that's why we can do it without having an impact on our weight or our health. And on a similar note, the portion sizes are pretty small. I mean, you can see from what I showed you, I never calorie count. I practiced like more intuitive eating but these are pretty, I would say, small portions compared to American portions, which are completely huge. One thing that I didn't show in this video because I didn't have one, but I can have one sometimes, is a snack or a goûter, what we call it in France. And this, it depends on my hunger levels. If I have a pretty light lunch, then I'm more likely to be hungry and then to want to have a little snack around four or five. But on this particular day, I was not, and so I didn't have one. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.